Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Monday, June 17th, 2019. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Uh, we do have FOMC statement later on this week, Wednesday, and the Fed interest rate decision that will be at 1 o'clock p.m. Central, 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern on Wednesday. That's going to be very, very important. It appears the market is already compressing ahead of that event. The last time we had our FOMC key level there was uh, on May 1st. It immediately went offered. The retest also went offered, and we've been down below that level ever since. Again, I'm drawing parallels to what happened back in September at the same zone up here where we had our FOMC key level come out on September 26th. It went offered and hung out down here and then right here in November the second one came out and it went offered as well and we continued lower. So it looks like we're going on the same track right now. We will get that number. It's going to be an important level and eventually that could lead to a major breakout from this phase. That's going to be very important. Look how narrow this range is over the last five to six sessions. You can see down here on the indicator how compressed it is. And as we know, when we have a compression signal, there tends to be an increase of volatility down the road. The last time we had one in the ES was here. You can see the compression we had and big volatility came out afterward. That is the same type of behavior that we're expecting this time around here. Compression with potential expansion very very soon so we could see further range bound activity Monday Tuesday and even half a Wednesday heading into that number and then from there we could see uh, an expansion from this range again the fact that price continues to hold below that important 2900 level and can't really find acceptance above it uh, suggests that we could still have more downside to go uh, if price can find acceptance above 2900 perhaps there's a, a test up here uh, at 2960 with a shot at 3000 but until that happens uh, likely price will continue to hold below that 2900 or at least chop around it ahead of that number so right now looking for further compression with the potential for expansion later on this week if we take a look at the NQ very similar price action as well we have compression right here uh, over the last five to six days you can see 45% of normal range here, and again, we have FOMC later on Wednesday. So this could lead to more range-bound action. Even if it's as high as 7,600 and as low as 7,400, that's a 200-handle range right now where we could stay inside, comfortably inside that range for the next two and a half, three sessions before we finally get that uh, FOMC key level. The last time we got one, again, May 1st, it went immediately offered price came back to it and then offered all the way back down so again how is this one going to behave uh, last time it came out we've, we've been seeing price go offered on the number so we'll see how that plays out heading into Wednesday's session taking a look at crude oil now you'll notice here with crude we've seen um, big time down trending behavior every time price gets into the eight period average it has been offered each and every time uh, ever since it went offered back here in the late uh, September, uh, rather the late May stage, there that led to quite a bit of selling pressure. It broke down below major support here at 60 bucks, 59 and change, and we've been down ever since. And if we take a look here again, we still haven't hit the 49.17 C fee pock that I've been talking about, and we still have quite a bit. Of more room to run before we hit support between 40 and 42 so we could be still on a path toward 40 to 42 especially if price continues to hold below that 55 CLVN 55 very very important uh, as a matter of fact right now we are compressing within a narrow range here over the last four to five sessions one two three four five not quite a compression signal it is almost there uh, as a matter of fact you can actually see this is about a 60 percent range of normal so it probably could be uh, compressed here on the indicator if we bring that indicator up let's see here let's double click this and make it a four day range over the last four sessions we are reading 56 percent of normal here so it is very very compressed here we have a uh, inside day that's developing here which was an inside day from the previous session so a lot of compression here in crude oil as well. Eventually, we could see expansion out of this range. Uh, 
early this week or perhaps at least around Wednesday once the number comes out. So a lot of compressed range, ranges here in the ES, NQ, and CL so far. Expecting further weakness out of each of these unless price can get above major resistance. In this case, 55 is that major area of resistance. We could continue to trade and chop around below that level with downside price uh, expansion down the road toward 40 to 42. If we take a look now at gold futures, you'll notice here with gold, this one has been shooting higher and finally reached resistance at 1350, which has been a target for us. Since we compressed here, this expansion here led to a very solid move up. And now price has a higher high rejection here. And that rejection occurred above 1360. As I mentioned before, 1360 to 1375 is five year resistance. Every time we've gotten up here, we have backed off of that level and backed off tremendously off that zone, dropping as low as 1200 uh, and even lower in some cases. So the last time we dropped off that area was back in last April and it dropped all the way down to about 1170s before it finally came back to retest the zone. So it's been over a year since we've tested these levels and now we're back at them. Uh, how far down do we go or do we even drop any lower? If the market's going to head down, perhaps uh, we see bulls continue to keep the eight period average, average bid and we make another move higher. So right now, we're back in the same spot where I mentioned last time that this could lead to another push higher. We're in that zone again where the eight period average is being bid so far. Obviously we have seen nice rejection here, but really this thing needs to get back below 1324 in order to really open up the downside. So right now I'm showing a little bit of weakness, but again, bulls coming in to defend the eight period average. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this develops heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.